We are almost at 12,000 subscribers here. So if you're a diehard Miami Dolphins fan, if you're always looking for the latest Dolphins news, rumors, or maybe you just like daily videos, 100% free. What I want you to do is go down underneath this video, hit that big red button that says subscribe, and let's get this channel to 12K subscribers. Seriously, I'm challenging you. Don't let me down. Mitchell Renz here, ready to break down some Miami Dolphins news and rumors. You ready? You guys ready for this Monday morning wake up? You know what? It's not even the morning anymore. Mitch, get it together. We're going to be talking about the NFL draft here. We're going to talk about Rob Gronkowski because there was an interesting rumor around him. Also, a nice player in Justin Simmons and free agency. But we are going to kick this show off here with the 2021 NFL Draft. And there's a rumor slash report out there that Miami could trade their number three pick. So when I saw this original report from Albert Breer, I was like, okay, obviously that the Miami Dolphins could end up doing this. Why? Because multiple NFL teams have expressed interest in the number three pick. Why is there a lot of interest in the number three pick? Because the number one pick. That's going to be Trevor Lawrence to the Jags. The number two pick, the New York Jets. I'm a believer that they end up taking quarterback Zach Wilson and decide, well, to move on from Sam Darnold. So what does that mean with the number three pick? That means when you see a lot of other NFL teams that could potentially take a quarterback, they know Miami's not going to take a QB because they already got Tua. So if you want to make sure that you can go up and get your guy, you trade up to number three, and then you move down if you're Miami in the draft. And if you're Miami, if you can get even more draft capital this year, like, is having the number three pick nice? Yes, it absolutely is. However, if I'm the Dolphins, I'm like, all right, either I want Devonta Freeman, Jamar Chase, or Penny Sewell. There's probably a pretty good chance if you trade down to, I think the most realistic team, in my personal opinion, is actually number eight, the Carolina Panthers, who I could see them trading up to number three to take a quarterback like Justin Fields. I'd actually be pretty confident that either somebody like a Devonta Smith, a Jamar Chase, or Penny Sewell would be available then to you at number eight. So if you can get one of those top three players and then even get more draft cap, because let's be honest, if Carolina or another team may be at like, I don't know, pick nine, for example, for the Broncos, if they want to trade up, I don't know how likely that is. But for this instance here with Carolina, because that's the team Albert Breer mentions, if they trade up, you might even get another first round pick next year. And you're probably going to get Carolina's second round pick this year. So why not in the heck do it? So the other reason why here is wide receiver. It's a major, major need for this team. And is Devonta Smith, Jamar Chase, are they available? Yes. The other player, though, that I'm going to hint at here is Jalen Waddell. I don't know if Waddle's going to fall down to number 18 to Miami. I actually think that's a little bit of a stretch because, I mean, one of the more impressive things that I've seen, go back and watch Waddle's tape when he was healthy to start off the year. I actually think that he outplayed a guy like Devonta Smith, but it's hard to not put him. Uh, it's hard to not put Smith at number one. He won the Heisman, had probably the greatest season of all time in terms of the wide receiver position. Jamar Chase had probably the greatest year of all time at a wide receiver back in 2019. So if you're Miami, if you can trade down, I'm sitting here just saying yes, you should absolutely do it. And the more picks you can give Brian Flores, the more picks that you can give this organization. They've been able to prove that they hit in the draft pretty well. So why not go out and do it? Seriously, trade down. So why for yes and for no? What do y'all think the Miami Dolphins should do here? Are you like, Mitch, you know, shut the heck up. Let's just take the guy that we want at number three and move on. So that's the beautiful thing about sports. We can talk about it. We can debate about it. Why for yes or and for no? The next story here is around Rob Gronkowski. And according to ESPN's Rob Ninkovich, he thinks that Gronk would sign with the Miami Dolphins this upcoming year. Gronk is obviously set to become a free agent after winning a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He also went on to predict that Deshaun Watson would be the quarterback of Miami. Let me just say this. Rob Ninkovich doesn't know what he's talking about because if he thinks that Rob Gronkowski is going to go anywhere else besides the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, He's just lying to himself, and he's just trying to get some clicks. It's all good, Nink. You got me. But I am here to at least talk about news. I'm here to talk about rumors, and that's why we wanted to create this show, because there's a lot of people out there that say dumb shit. Guess what? We're here to tell you when it's dumb. And this is a dumb idea by Ninkovich, because if I'm Rob Gronkowski, 
I'm saying, okay, if I can't go back to Tampa Bay, I'm just going to retire again. Like, why would I go anywhere else besides Tampa Bay? And then from the Miami Dolphins standpoint of this, like, they don't really need a tight end. I mean, Mike Gesicki, he's a better tight end than Rob Gronkowski at this point in their career. If you disagree with me, at me, Mitchell Rent 365 Adam Shaheen, they've already extended. They gave him an extra year. They liked what Shaheen did, so he's there. And then Durham Smythe. You're not playing Durham Smite to have him catch the football. He's a good blocking tight end that knows exactly what his role is. So no offense to Gronk, this fit and Rob Ninkovich, it doesn't make any sense, Rob. I, I saw this and I was like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Like, I get it. If they bring in Deshaun Watson, maybe that changes a few things. But I don't even think Deshaun Watson's going to Miami anymore at this point. So for Rob, he's going to stay with Tom Brady and Tom Brady's going to remain in Tampa Bay. It's really as simple as that. So go down in the comment section to predict the percent chance that Gronk signs with the Dolphins. I mean, I guess anything is possible, right? Like, literally anything. I'm going to give it a 1% chance. I, I don't think it's anything above 1%. So go down, let me know. Now, today's show is presented by BetUS. And then you want to talk about percentages? How about 125% deposit bonus? That should wake you up, right? If you guys want to go ahead and bet on some NBA games, like, I've been on a hot streak betting on a, I betting on uh, LeBron and the Lakers. Shout out to producer Sam. We were eating dinner the other night. Not him and I. That sounded weird. At a chat sports event. And he's like, yo, the Lakers are down 20 to 2. Take the bet and you're going to win it. We don't only just do NFL stuff here. We also do NBA. So you can bet on the NBA. March Madness. It's coming up. We're going to be having some awesome things going on with March Madness. And if you want to get started with our sportsbook partner, we have the best deal on the internet. It's the link that you all see below, chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code DOLPHINS125 to get 125% deposit bonus. What does it mean? $100 down, $100, $125 for free, excuse me, to go ahead and bet with. All right, let's go to this next player here, Justin Simmons. Absolutely love this guy. Probably the top free agent safety on the market right now. And I say probably, and I shouldn't have even said that. He's, he's my top free agent safety on the market. ESPN went out and said this. The Dolphins would be a great fit. Let me go out and say this. Anywhere Justin Simmons plays would be a great fit. You know why? He's one of the best young safeties in the National Football League. So the Broncos, they can afford to keep him, but let's just say that they want to save some money. Maybe they want to go a different route. Maybe they want to go out and, I don't know, find somebody else on the free agent market to save some Save some dough. <sighs> I think it'd be dumb, but if the Dolphins, who have plenty of money, and is their defense good? Yes, but one of their biggest weaknesses is probably safety. If you can add <laughs> Justin Simmons to Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, I don't know what NFL teams, what quarterbacks are going to be able to do to pass on this defense. I mean, it would be extremely tough. I mean, look at these numbers the past two seasons. Nine picks, 24 PBUs. 142 tackles, and for those of you that like pro football focus, he's been one of the most consistent safeties in the National Football League. So right now, here's your Dolphins DB depth chart, right? Obviously, you have Roe, you have Bobby McCain as well. In my cap cut video that I made, I had Roe and I had McCain in that video for the simple fact of if they wanted to be able to move on from money, you could do it. And if Justin Simmons is sitting there saying, you know what, I want to be a member of the Miami Dolphins. Every single Miami Dolphins fan should say, okay, let, like, let's figure out a way to bring this guy in because he is one of the biggest reasons why the Denver Broncos were referred to as the no-fly zone. Like, I get they had other great cornerbacks there as well, but a dude that never got nearly enough respect was Justin Simmons. And if he wants to win football games, you got a better chance of doing it in the Miami than you do in Denver. So let me know here, who is the top free agent target that the Miami Dolphins have right now they're ninth ranked i believe in terms of cap space around 28 million dollars as i'm filming this video they got plenty of draft capital they can do a lot a lot of different things here so let me know who's the top free agent target for the dolphins in 2021 a player that i couldn't really believe that they ended up bringing in uh, the last year was was matt Breida. traded for him and it didn't work out the the last report from espn was Breida and the dolphins are expected to part ways no crap you don't need to be an NFL insider. You just need to have two eyeballs and a pulse to know that Matt Breida and the Miami Dolphins were not going to work out and they were going to be moving on next year. I mean, look at these numbers here. This isn't why you trade somebody for a fifth-round draft pick. 59 carries, 254 yards, 4.3 yards per carry, 
no touchdowns. The other reason why I know Matt Breed is not going to be coming back is because, I mean, realistically, he was the third best back in this backfield. You had Miles Gaskin, who, shout out to him, I thought he deserved to really not win, I'm trying to think of the award, not comeback player, that's definitely not the award I'm going for, but like, the player that you had no idea who the heck he was and ended up playing great. I would have probably given it to James Robinson, the UDFA from Jacksonville, but Miles Gaskin might have been the sleeper in all fantasy football drafts. Also, Salvin Ahmad, like, he also played well. So Matt Breida doesn't really have any excuses. Now, I get that Eric Studsville is also now the co-OC. Maybe he fell in love with Breida. I'd say that you just got your beer goggles on there, Studsville. So in terms of is Matt Breida done in Miami, yes, he, he is going to be done in Miami. I don't anticipate anybody really wanting him. He might try to go back out to San Francisco to realize that, wow, I'm maybe just a product of the Kyle Shanahan system. I'll tell you what he's not a product of, the Miami system. Get rid of him. Time to move on. And I do anticipate the Dolphins to go out and look in the draft. Look for them to take a guy like Najee Harris. Look for them to draft the running back out of North Carolina, not Carter, the starter whose name is escaping me right now. Even a guy like Travis Etienne. They have so many draft picks. And if you trade back from pick number three, guess what? You even got more. So Bon Voyage, Matt Breida, and Bon Voyage, Miami Dolphin fans. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your Monday.